We got the beat master, Murph. We got the Cypher Lee, Neo. We got the rapper, Jihad. We got I.E., Denitra Pope. Welcome to Knock, where we open doors through hip hop. I am your MC OG, and this is another episode of Knock, which stands for Knowing Nothing Overcomes Knowledge. Big shout out to What Money is Always, and this is a very special show because we have a poet this time, and he's words on random. He's a very deep brother. We're also going to sit with him on the couch and dig his brain a little bit. Now, before we get into the cycle, I'm going to kick it off to the Beatmaster, who has the producer of the day, which the MCs are going to rap over their beats for the cycle. So, Beatmaster, let them know. All right, today we got a producer out of Chicago, one of the um, he's not with us today, but we will be playing a lot of his music today being Cypher to it. He goes by the name of uh, Dan Ryan, uh, great producer out of Chicago. Got a lot of sample beats, a lot of different things that he does. So we're going to get more into it. I'm going to start playing one right now. For, uh, Cypher Lee! No money backed up with this bills like Bob the Builder. Kick in the MC as in this shit like MC Silver. On my lyrical voice, screaming high on silver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for gold, ain't got no silver. Uh. What a meal that? Run a block nigga, four mil, yeah. Talking about hustling in this bitch. I ain't really got a bus in this shit. Boom, we'll get a bus to shot. Cool, shots back in this bitch. Man, yo, bitch, back shots too. Back shots back on that trick, trick. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a dog, bitch, I'm a dog. Uh, hopping like a frog. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm out this bitch. Cause I'm out of space. I put a space ball when I type this shit. Never rewrite this shit. Straight from the dog. I don't really care. I'm just telling you I'm rare. Like you found me something where you ain't never been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tell them what's up next. I don't know what this beat got me transfixed. I mean, my brain perplexed. Goddamn, that's safe sex. My motherfucker don't want to like sex. So every day they go through that fucking way of damn like sex. I don't know, man, but it's cool. Do what you can, do what you do. Goddamn, I got shit to prove. So if you get a beat, nigga, I'm gonna prove you get it. I get it. Everything else is just sickening. And I see it all in your pit. But I'm traveling with you fix. And that one foundation, goddamn, you face I say. So here I lay in a grave, of the rhyme she made. Now here we go again, turning with my pen and the blade. Chop a nigga's head off, guillotine. Everybody wanna see a nigga do his thing, so I ride high, hiding other motherfuckers in the sky. So high, I'm out of your atmosphere. Damn, I'm out of this bitch here. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm about to go ahead and stop playing. You motherfuckers ain't nothing. I'm just a land. You the shit that's growing from this hand. <laughs> Raised to the sky, I lie or jive. Or oh, anybody that you see that's so high, so high they could be the divine and create. In your mind, something I'm about to pass it up because we almost out of time. Out of time with this. You out of line with this. That's what they fucking telling me. I'm just out here spitting this. I will fucking sell for free. Niggas like to mail to me. Like I ain't with these mails for free. Cause I don't kill these tracks for Jesus. <laughs> Motherfuckers just notice me. Kill these tracks. These niggas out here singing like they jumpy. I don't care. Niggas still do not compare. I am not about to do it. I'm about to prove it, man. I'm off the fluid. I'm off the fluid. I said this, but fucking spit it like I'm toothless. I'm on your way here, and I got a ticket. I was chilling, probably because my pigment. They associate that with y'all getting you strapped. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I gotta break your back. Roll call all my niggas. I gotta react. Uh, I gotta react. I gotta say something. Yeah. He just killed it, man. And y'all don't say nothing. Y'all yeah. talk to walls. Y'all stand in mirrors. The shit I say couldn't be no clearer. Yeah. Yeah. And anything you say, I bet I say it better. Woo! And if I say it later, I say it tomorrow. Yeah. It's the same thing, lies I never borrow. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. Then I put them on layaway. Yeah. I promise. 
should you take a look at it another day. Uh, okay. But today, I'm spinning off the dome, homie, we knocking. And we just trying to bring you home. Before we get into the topic of the day, we're going to let the spotlight guest, Randall, kick a little poetry for y'all. So check it out. This first piece is called Scandalous. You pitch us this idea you want this guy with traits that are precise. But somewhere along the lines, being honest and loyal just doesn't suffice. So there are no longer images of us at an altar and kids throwing rice. It goes to, girl, he's a sweet guy, but he's just a little too nice. So instead of leaving us alone, you lead us on to the point where our feelings get deeper. You perform these sexual acts behind our backs while we tell our guys, bro, shit, keep her. We trip off on you so much, you damn near made it a killer. Your girlfriend's ask, well, why don't you break up with him? Well, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. So in the process of this, you turn me into a dog. Here's my paws. I know I don't care about a girl's flaws. Shit, I just want to get in them draws. <laughs> yes, chivalry is dead, yes, women killed it. I tried to put my heart out to you in the glass, you just went and spilled it. Males ain't shit. They always do me dirty, is what y'all say when y'all complain to fuss. But the irony of that is the fact that every bitch needs a dog, so this is just a game to us. So the final result, back in that same boat, I have no regrets. I just wish I didn't regress. Turn your TV on. Even the girls are scandalous on recess. Ooh. Hard knock. <laughs> He's going to go on death on the topic, which is cultural sex. The question is, how does hip hop teach men and women how to treat each other? Like a good group of chairman. Well, hip-hop teaches men and women to treat each other in some way. This is it's kind of confusing because it's a hypocrisy of men. If you have enough credit, then it's like possible to get away with it. But hip-hop teaches you to treat men and women like objects. More or less, you know what I'm saying, the woman is the bad beat, you know what I'm saying, and the man is, you know what I'm saying, some kind of thugged out, dude has got to be thugged all the time. And the good guy, you know what I'm saying, the man who treats you good, is ultimately turned into something that's boring, and you know what I'm saying, it's not really for you because you want that excitement of, of a bad dude, but like, this is reality, this is life. Those situations often end up in hurt pain. Hey, Randall, how do you feel that hip hop? So, you know, it's a little bit like what you were saying. Um, the whole object thing. I feel like I understand. the more materials you have, so you got the nice watch, the nice cars, and nice shoes, the more attractive that makes you to other people for some reason. But um, when it comes to just just having materials, like. Like hip hop, it pretty much sheds light that if you don't have these things, you're considered lame. And I don't necessarily want to say that it's just hip hop, but society as a whole, because we all place man in the box. So do you think that the system creates these standards that black men, and men in general, have to stand up to in order to gain women? It, it becomes less about love and more about what you have, material objects. So most women are attracted to you. Because you, know, you have money, that's what they want. Now, if you are an emotional man, they don't right. understand well, right, that right, because right. Well, that, it, 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 yeah, but if you look at the general society, you see that hip hop now is commercialized, so it mimics mainstream society. But with that being said, do you think that hip hop is still shit? I almost have to say yes and no. Um, when it comes to Chivalry and hip hop, going back to the last question we were just saying, is you have to listen to the music that's out right now. I mean, there's nothing that's really glorifying um, being a gentleman or being uh, take take care of a girl. It's this bitch, this hoe. All right, we're going to get to know the spotlight guests in there a little bit more. Um, so tell us where you're from, what you do, and how long you've been doing it. Well, I'm from Cayman City, or Burnham, Illinois. Um, I'm a 
poet, been doing for about two years now. Been writing since I was uh, 17. But uh, I really just started performing when I got out here about 2011. I started doing it with Word, shout out to Word. And um, if it really wasn't for them, I wouldn't be the poet I am today right now. Yeah, word is, is crazy. You know how first <laughs> Word will make you a better person and a better writer at the same time. It's, it's crazy. Um, so how do you feel or do you feel like poetry can be um, mainstream again? Because Jai was saying uh, offset uh, that poetry was, you know, it, it used to be mainstream. Do you think we can bring that back alive? And if we could, would you be mainstream or would you be underground? Um, I feel like poetry can be brought back alive, but honestly, it's all it's already here as well. Because I think poetry, I mean, rap is just another form of poetry. Right? So, um, but as far as just like, you know, like likes and use type, um, it can be, but it's going to need a lot of support right. as well. It's, um, it's, it's a lot of good poets. Right? There's one from Chicago named uh, Malcolm London. He actually came out for a while. Oh, yeah. He's, and, uh, he, he's, he's just the beast. And, like, um, I saw like, stuff on uh, YouTube from him. And he was performing in, on big stages against people, with uh, other people as well. And, you know, it's just, just going to take like, a lot of exposure. You know, we promote all these rappers and these singers as well, but you don't really hear about poets that much. And me personally, I know I want the recognition of being a good poet, so I'm gonna try to work my hardest to get that level as well. So do you have any poetry online? Where can we hear you? Uh, <laughs> shows, what's your next move? Okay, um, I got stuff on my Facebook, but uh, I don't really have like a Tumblr or anything like that. I did make myself a YouTube channel, so I will be putting out more videos, but my main thing I'm doing right now that is my focus for this summer. I'm trying to drop uh, a poetry movie. It's going to be shot out here, and it's going to be, um, the concept of it is, it's going to be going to be called Stuck. I'm kind of working on the title, but right now it's called Stuck. But it was, it's really me about my life. And around February, March, I was going through a lot of stuff, going through health issues, issues with my family. Um, I didn't have a job, I was on school issues, like everything you can imagine was just coming around me. And I was at a standstill in my life. And it was at times I didn't know what the fuck to do, you know. And that's pretty much going to showcase of just um, everything that was going on in my life around that time. And the one thing that's kept me going through everything has been poetry. That's powerful. I mean, that's, that's what people don't understand about the arts because it really keeps a lot of Alive, and people working and trying to strive for their dreams because I totally understand about being at a standstill and being stuck because life can tell you some stuff and you be like, what's going on? But if you had that one thing that you get to it, and, and that's why not, not really was created because we using hip hop, we using art. You know, to move and to, to be alive. So, so I hope you stay. Oh, yeah. Hit us with another poem. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. And uh, we gonna get into the last cycle. Big shout out once again to Hot Money. We got Ace Boogie playing in the background. We got everybody playing in the background today. So um, make sure y'all hit me up. Knock underscore freedom. You can also hit up the Gmail. Notfreedom at gmail.com. And um, we're going to get into the last cipher. To the closing cipher, we're going to have Randall, our spotlight guest, hit us with another poem. All right, kick it off. You know, sometimes I ask God, like, like, why you make my life so arduous? Fickle people and petty arguments? <laughs> Man, that's just the start of shit. And still, there's so much more to life that others will never view. Still, we put pussy and money so high up on our pedestal. I'm enrolled in college to gain knowledge, and moms is paying out of pocket, but I don't have a dollar to my name in the pocket. And yet still, I try my best to stay humble, stay blessed that I can't put myself in these situations. I'd rather be content than be complacent. Living life, ignoring that elephant in the room. Late at night, my thoughts get consumed. By whom? Stress and oppression. Those two just can't seem to leave me the fuck alone. And what's worse is they only appear when I'm in my comfort zone. <laughs> Rent for the month of May pass due, GPA to maintain, pops with the car, these things are growing pains. I'm played, 
by this theory of lust versus temptation. I lust for success all day, but I'm tempted to gain in all the wrong ways. Confliction with my morality. I never read the Bible, but yet God still is the one I want to appease, but being a soldier of his doesn't put me at ease. Mm -hmm. But these words on this pad do. Oh they tell my story, each with their own different battle scars. I'm not a person that recites poetry, I'm a bard that bombards bars. But still, sometimes I lose sight of my vision. But I realize other people depend on me. Word is the fam, PS is the flock. I be a rebel for life and now I'm rolling with knock. <laughs> so as you can see, I have teams I need to help to build. Goals and dreams I need fulfilled. Passion and bars, a quiet them set of skills. Ravenous for recognition. Wondering what I'm going to get. My meal. Nice. Tank stop doing this swag. Tank top arms in this bitch, just like arms and hammer shit. I've been doing this shit like arms and grandma shit. Country grandma, nah, just farm with the grandmas in this bitch. So much weed, I make a farm. Shit, I'm feeling like marijuana. It's my mom. Shit, had a son, hit the shit hard. Now I'm the far. Take this a little farther in this bitch. I'm like the cars. Flip out too hard. Shit, my niggas monkey bar. Bananas. <laughs> I done split on your mama. Uh, you done heard my grandma. He done said he ain't country, but I am a bama. Cause I be banging, I'm a hammer. I'ma tell you I'm baking soda. Hammer. <laughs> And then you send your little home uh, with a son and a daughter. You don't even bother to be a fucking father. I'm saying it's sexism. Can you tell me the point? I'm sick of dealing with you niggas smoking on joints. I'm saying, would you say something real? Stop trying to fuck me over. Give me a dick. I'm saying, be something for the truth. Be something for the youth. Give them something to read and give them something to build. If you're not fucking with me, then you're not up in my guild. I'm saying, mm -hmm. Ooh. bad guy, not always how it starts. Maybe they had their heart broken by someone else. Uh, or maybe they was felt by a bitch at home, but they can't see themselves. Broken hearts in the lines that you do up your nose make a motherfucking nigga pyro, bloody rose, and they come through. Every time I'm like this, she be like, oh man, you just a gumshoe. No, I'm just like, hey, baby, chill out. We can make the do what it's gonna do. Uh, not the silence, the sirens, and everybody slicing him up. Motherfuckers wanna just hemp up. Me, I'm on that high, I'm level with him, just young motherfucking rebel in the fucking dust. I kick the wind. Up, and see ain't no friends in here, just golden bars with broken tears. The broken tears in the left, like the king. I got a dream, Martin, and I'm just starting. Check it. I say my pops is a mason, mom's is a Christian, me, I'm fucking different. Yeah. I'm on some other level shit, trying to stay away from devil shit, that rebel shit. Probably have to spit it twice for y'all to get it the first time. Shit, I spit these rhymes so many times. Said that, but they want the grand recycle lines. But y'all ain't get that. Oh, yeah. Damn, man. Come some on. Come 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 on.